YouTube, Lenny Sly, RoadWarriorTraining.com. How's everybody doing today? Today's been a pretty interesting day so far. We've been here at the dojo since 6 a.m., kind of just waking up, getting ready to uh, do some filming. And um, in the last video, I don't know if I mentioned it in the part three of the Rondori, but I believe I did mention it in the part four, which will be up today. Later on today, I'll have that posted up on YouTube, so you guys will finally have the part four of the four-part series. A couple people asked me about where's the beatdown Rondori. The beatdown Rondori is going to be a completely separate video, just so you guys know. That is... That's going to take a lot of planning to do. Plus, you know, Chris is, uh, like I mentioned in the last video, he went back to school for uh, pursuing his career in art, so I have to make sure that he's going to be here. So that video will probably be shot maybe towards the end of December, depending on what our film schedule looks like and what we have going on. But what I did mention is that I haven't forgotten about the Aikido Past, Present, and Future series, and that is what we are doing today. So today we are going to do... Kaitanage, which is basically a rotary throw. I'm going to show you a couple examples from that, uh, from Kaitanage and from Yoko Minucci, or excuse me, from Kantate Dori, from Yoko Minucci, and probably from Lunetsky. But before we get started, um, while we were sitting around earlier this morning, <clears throat> I noticed on my phone on Facebook that a particular person asked to join the Tension Aikido group page that I have that's a private page. It's a closed group. And when I saw that, I was like, wow. Kind of took me by surprise. I was really floored by it. So <clears throat> I want to give a uh, real special shout out to uh, Hiroshi Ikeda Sensei for requesting to be a part of the Tension Aikido group page. Um, it's truly an honor for, for you to, to ask to be a part of this. I've known uh, Ikeda Sensei since I was 18 years old. He uh, was a Koshihan with uh, Satomi Sensei with uh, Aikido Schools Yeshiva, ASU, that organization. He branched off, started doing his own thing. Um, haven't really lost touch with him. I, mean, I still follow, you know, I still follow you, Ikeda Sensei, on uh, Facebook and whatnot, and, and all the seminars that you do throughout the world. So it is truly an honor for you to uh, request to be a part of that Tension Aikido group. Hi, no one got to that. Thank you so much for that. That was um, that really made my day. It really did. But we're gonna get started with Kai Tanage. So I have Rod here today. Demonstrating height. So, <clears throat> Kaitanage is a rotary throw. So, we're going to start off with the Tenkan. So, from Katate Dori, as he grabs, your Tenkan movement is important. So, as you move through, this is a different variation of what most people do. From here, we're going to grab the wrist, cross over with your back leg. As you do that, you bring the arm down, circle it down, switch your grip. At that point, take control of the head. Then I'm going to stand behind him. I'm going to step behind him with my, with my back right leg. As I'm doing this, I'm going to spin him tenkan-wise and push his arm diagonally across his back. A lot of people push the arm this way. It's pushing across his back to make him take the ukemi. Okay? This is what I was taught a long time ago from the traditional side. So your tenkan movement up. If you want, you don't need to grab the wrist. You can grab the wrist, or you can cut this down. And you want to get this transition. Come back up. You want to cut this down, capture the head, and grab the wrist. Then step behind, and then throw. Pretty easy. It's not that difficult. It's a lot of circular movement that's involved with this. Again, so move through, cut, and then throw. Okay, one more time. You want to try to not make this a stepping process. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? You want to try to make this a continuous flow with movement. So as he grabs, you move right away. You throw. Pretty easy. Okay? The second one I'm going to show you is more in my opinion, more of a traditional version of Katatidori Kaitanage. This time, Rod's gonna grab same entry movement, so as you turn, your hand comes up to the person's face, the uke's face. Then you go down to his groin area. From here, you step underneath. What I like to do is, I try to put my hip through first. Because if you do end up doing this, he throws you right into a headlock. So you wanna get your head out of the way. So if he starts to do a headlock or starts moving his arm towards that, 
you allow your head to dip down, cut down with this movement. As that happens, your uke should be stepping back to where you're in this position. So let's go back to that. So, so from up here, grab. So as you step back, he steps back. Take control of the head at that point. Then you could move forward with this. Throw in the kaitanage. You're using the arm as a leverage point. That is what's going to get him to go. Okay, one more time. So continuous movement. Protect. Grab. And throw. Okay. Pretty easy. One more time. So that's the other version of Katatidori Kaitanage. The next one we're going to show you is off of Yoka Minuchi. So this one is kind of a little bit different than what I've seen other people do. We're actually going from a Yokoman into almost the feeling of being able to do Kota Gaishi. So as he does Yokoman, he attacks, I attack. From here I cut down. From that point, I'm going to Tenkan into him, grab onto his hand. From here, I'm basically in a Tenkan. So I'm going to switch this out. He's going to move around. I'm going to capture the head. I'm going to change, change my position of my hand by rolling my hand up, grabbing this. From here, cross step, step behind, Tenkan, throw to the rear. Okay? So again, Yokoman. So, Right to this position, move through, capture, and throw. Okay, one more. So this is nice and strong. Okay, so nice and talk harder. So you're capturing that movement. You want to be able to take his balance at this point. You just don't want to be switching sides because then there's all kinds of reversals that could happen from here. You want to make sure the attack is solid. Let's switch positions. So the attack is solid, right to here. This is, there's a big gap here, okay? My opinion, for this reason, you can move in and do Hijinage, do Shihonage. Traditionally, you would see Shihonage off of this technique. There's a lot of things that you can do. You can move in, get to the position of doing Iiminage, if you want it. switch again. Or, you can basically move right into this position, grab this for how you would do Kotagaishi. As he comes around, you capture the head, switch positions of the hand. This would give him a position to strike me in the ribs. So from there, you would move behind, push the head down, and the arm over the back, across the back for Kaitanai. Right, Kaitanai, one more time. Capture. Grab the head. Hey, right, one more. Okay. A lot of circular motion. If you're not used to this, you might be like, whoa. You might get a little dizzy from this technique. Hey, right, one more time. So actually we're gonna move on to the next one. The next one would be for Munetsky, which is to punch the solar plex. So as he punches, actually you switch sides. Sorry guys. So he punches his solar plex. From here, capture. Right away. Watch your body position too, that when you're punching, you're not leaning in so much. Punch using your body as you're punching. Everything should still be straight up and square instead of punching and leaning in. Okay? So as he punches, capture. Same time. Get the head. From here, this comes down, that rotation of hand, grabbing the neck. Then you can easily Tenkan and throw him to the rear. Okay, one more time. So, capture, turn, throw. A multi from this would be very difficult to do from here to try to do this and move in. Okay, one more time. So, capturing here. Moving, see how sloppy that is? It's, it doesn't feel right. It feels more right when it's ura to the rear. One more. Okay. So, 
That is our classical or past version, past, present, future. This, in my opinion, is the traditional Aikikai stuff that I want to present to you today. So we did two Kaitanages from Katate Dori, one from Yokomnuchi, one from Munetsuki. So key things right, from Yokomen, make sure the attack is honest. Make sure you're up here protecting yourself from the uke side. Don't have your hand down here. He'll demonstrate that. You're opening up yourself for that attack. It's whole body does Aikido. This hand wants to come up and protect. Naturally speaking, that's what you want to be able to do. So as you do this, you're changing positions. Okay, then obviously it's one Tenkan, then you'd have your second Tenkan follow through. With Katate Dori, you want to stay connected. So when the Tenkan happens, you're staying connected the whole time with this. Once this breaks its balance, then you're going underneath and you're in this position where then you can throw. The transition part of here, this transition, let's move this way a little. Once you, once you drop down, this transition right here, see how my hands open? The transition of this goes down and then goes right up to the grab. That's how I found that it works best for me. So when we reverse this, this goes down, grabs the hand. Then you have, there's a lot of things you can do. You can strike to the face as you're doing this as well when you're coming through, but that's for the combative concepts side of it. Then you push right through. Obviously ski, left side, you that ski. Capturing this, the punch is solid and serious. Capturing this, taking it down, making sure that you have your uke nice and strong. So one more time, punch, capturing, getting that transition, then from there you can step or you can tenkan and you throw behind. Okay? So that's pretty much about it. Hi, arigato. So that was the first of three videos that we're doing for the Aikido past, present, and future. This video is on Kaitanage. The second video that you're going to see is the way how we do it in the tension uh, Aikido side of this technique. Um, once again, Ikeda Sensei, if you're watching, thank you so much for requesting to be a part of my Tension Aikido group. It's truly an honor to have you a part of that. Hi, Rod, thank you. Being good, okay? So, um, <laughs> like, subscribe, share the video. Check us out on Facebook at uh, Rogue Warrior Combative Concepts. Look us up on uh, www.roguewarriortraining.com. Check out our online classes. We have Tension Aikido platform, the Combative Concepts platform, the Rogue Warrior CQB platform. We got a lot of things going on. We're going to start doing a lot more Facebook Live videos, things like that. And um, we'll see you in the next video. Take care.